So many questions this morning, and so she joins us to walk us through some of them. So let's start by talking about Hope Hicks. We heard that uh, she has been in uh, proximity to a lot of people in the White House, and many say that she could be a super spreader. What exactly is that? So what we know about this virus is that a small proportion of people are responsible for the large majority of the spread. These are what we call the super spreaders. And really what makes somebody a super spreader are factors like how many droplets they generate when they talk or breathe and other factors like viral load. Now we know that Hope Hicks is having symptoms. So the presumption is that her viral load may be higher because you know, those that have symptoms uh, usually have a higher viral load correlating with the severity of their infection. But what's very interesting here, Gary, is that it could be the other way around. It could, in fact, be that President Trump may have infected Hope Hicks. We just don't know the answer to that without a massive contact tracing effort. And what we're learning from Bloomberg sources this morning is that the president may have been feeling under the weather and having some symptoms on Wednesday. So it is entirely possible that it could have been the other way around. And obviously the implications, if the president was the one that spread the infection are more because the president has significantly more contacts during the day. But regardless, I do wish the president, the first lady and Hope Hicks a speedy recovery from this infection. Absolutely, yeah. And, and Dr. Cole, you know, what does this whole situation tell us about COVID-19 and who can get it? You know, that's such an important question, and I think there's a huge lesson to learn here, which is that testing does not prevent the spread of the virus. Now, the president is the most tested man in the world, getting tested every single day, and yet he contracted the virus, because really what prevents the spread of the virus are those measures that we've been talking about, like wearing masks, washing hands, and social distancing. And that's because if you got exposed to the virus today, it could take five to 10 days before your test turns positive. And during that entire time, you could be shedding the virus and be infectious to others. And that's why the take home message is really, let's not rely, over rely on testing. Let's continue to wear those masks and remember that the virus can infect anyone, even the president of the United States. All right, Dr. Coley, thanks.